If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel and we hit 9 Hey, so shout out to all y'all that's really been rocking with your boy. We do got the $250 gift card giveaway and we also going to sneak in another bonus $20 giveaway. So go in the comment section right now and comment Xbox or PlayStation. We already going to pull two winners for the first giveaway and now I'm going to pull a third winner for a free $20. But you got to make sure that you are dropping a like on the video. 70 likes always open up another opportunity for a giveaway. And shout out to the MVPs. Let's give a shout out to the MVP elites. We got Raymond Edwards and we got Dexter Panita, the regular MVPs. The regular MVPs for today's video is Zach CG98 and Davey Burgett. If you want to be an MVP, don't be a hater your whole life. Drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button. Roll to 10K starts now. Let's get into today's banger. All right, so if you're looking at the calendar, at the schedule, you can see Double XP starts today. They have a new conquest map. They're going to have a split squad two event and tops now moments. So this is the time. If you are not done with the fourth inning program, go ahead and grind out this double XP. All you're going to need is two to three hours. You're going to get double XP. Make sure you are using the intentional walk method. And we're going to go through that a little later. Now, hopefully... They leave it running for a full week because you can see right now the fifth inning program starts on 730. So if they leave the double XP up for at least one day, make sure you are using this intentional walk method so you can fly through it. Get the fifth inning boss on the first day. It's going to take you maybe two to four hours. Double XP is going to get you 70 to 80 thousand xp every single time and you only need 350 so what you want to do come down here to exhibition you want to set it up with two controllers player one always put over here to the left player two put over to the right now once you set up player two do not make any more changes on the player two going to enter into the contest with both teams then you're going to use player one you're going to put fast play on and then you can also put quick counts on for double xp it don't really matter put quick counts on put fast play on you're going to be intentionally walking yourself over and over and over up to 350 runs I really don't think that after 350 runs, it really counts. But the key is make sure every time that you get to 150 runs that you get yourself two hits. And once you get the two hits, 150 runs, strike out the entire side. And I'm going to show you all what I'm saying. With the main controller, you're going to put the main controller down. If you don't want the main controller to become inactive, you have to have it hardwired or Every 50 runs, you have to touch one of the buttons on the controller just so it's picked up that the controller is still active. All right, so now once you get into the match, we got quick counts on. You're just going to push L, B, and B. Everybody should know this already, and you're going to intentionally walk. Now, every 50 runs, grab this other controller and just push down or right or left or up any kind of button if it is not hardwired. So you're just gonna intentionally walk over and over and over, 50 runs, touch the other controller. Once you get to 150 runs, you're gonna hit the ball or bunt the ball. You're gonna let two people score. Then you're gonna walk until the bases are loaded again. And then you're gonna bunt and you're gonna send everybody home. Once you send everybody home, you're gonna strike out the entire side and then you're gonna get up the bat. You're gonna strike out that entire side and that is gonna confuse the AI like somebody is actually playing and you are not just walking runs in. Now, once you get to the 150 and you are back up, then all you gotta do is go another 200 runs. 200 plus 150 is your 350. So once you get to 350 runs, every 50 runs, you are making sure that you are touching the other controller just to let 
the AI know that it is still active. Then you're going to bunt all of them home and then you're going to strike out the side again and then you're just going to go with the main controller and you're going to exit out. You're going to go to exit, confirm exit. As long as the servers are up and running, you should go in and play versus CPU first to test it out. As long as the servers are up and running, you can see with only like two runs, I got 105 XP. But today, double XP is going to be up and running. So you are going to be getting, I would say 65 to 80,000 XP every single time. The more you bunt, the better for you and 350 runs to 400 runs is the threshold don't try to do 750 800 runs because if the servers go down you're going to bend the wasted all that time so every 45 minutes to an hour you should be 50,000 to 80,000 xp if y'all enjoyed the video let me know that y'all rocking with me we are going to be banging out these stub tips the best stub methods everything to help you get up to a million stubs i'm going to be the one to help you out giveaway 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 shout out to the mvps it's all love if y'all rocking with me i got y'all